What's up, boys? What's up? What's How up? Man? Thanks for coming to the podcast, man. Thanks for having us. I will say you're the first person to bring a dog. You know what I mean? Oh, so when yeah. my corgis, when Jack and Abigail, or Jack, well, wrong dog, when Crash and Abigail show up, they're going to be like, there's been another dog in here. What oh, is going yeah. on? Was, huh? Yeah, yeah. they're going to tell. Lucky had to come through, man. I was like, man, we the only Frenchies. We got to bring a Frenchie. Thank you. So, what was, how did you guys get into Frenchies? <laughs> like, was it a love for Frenchies? Or it's like- so weird. It's so weird. I'm going to tell you. My 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 guy, uh, Brock. I've been knowing him since since before high school, since we were younger. Since he was on the east side, you know, we was playing football, you know, just all that, right? And then uh, uh, one of my good buddies now, his name's Henry, right? And both Brock and Henry, they used to breed back in the day, like mm-hmm. uh, like rots and like pits Pit and different bull, things yeah. like that. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Or, you know, and I, I never you know. really got into breeding, but sports, like I love sports. Like when you talk about podcasts and yeah. do like like I did, I did, I still do. I need to revive it. It was a matter of fact, sports. That's okay. the name of it. And we just do a lot, just talk about sports, just have a lot of fun, fantasy. And we still do that, fantasy and stuff. But, yeah. And and so he uh Brock was like, Hey, your boy Hen, you know, why don't you hook me up with him? That's your boy, right? What mm-hmm. you think about him? I was like, oh, he cool dude. You know, we do the fantasy. He cool dude. He straight up. He's like, yeah, man. He he got the Frenchies, man. You ain't ever talked to him like that. I was like, no, no. I told him, <laughs> he's like, man, I, you know, you should hook me up with him, right? And this was what, like six years, seven. It was a while. This was before Frenchies were trendy. Yeah. You know what I mean? A hundred percent. So, it, and, and so wow, I hooked man. them up, yeah. right? And then he, um, and Brock, the kind of person he is, he just took it and he just, you know, took it to another level. You know, he going ham on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. And then so he kept telling me, he's like, "What's up, man? You ready for a dog, man?" He's like, hey, what's up, man? "You want to, you want to you wanna get a dog, bro?" I'm like, and I keep telling him, like, "I do, but nah, not right now." I'm yeah. like, he's like, "Man, you ready? If not now, when?" Like he, are, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right, so, yeah. and I'm like, "Okay, okay, I, 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 you know, give me, give me some time. Let me, let me make sure that, you know, I could uh, have to plant those seeds." Yeah, oh, you gotta plant a, those seeds. Long seeds. That's you know, long yeah, play. you go, you go for the long con. That's, long, you know? that's called marketing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, exactly that's what marketing. Did. You gotta. So people, you plant those seeds. People you think know? you just post one time on Instagram, you're getting all these deals. Like you gotta right. post for years. Right. You know what I mean? And it's funny. And he has the uh, the uh, pups, and a lot of people. It was either back then. It was either you loved them or you hated them. Mm-hmm. Either like, oh, they're so cute, or oh, yeah. they're so ugly, and oh, you know what I mean. And then I, I told him, uh, man. You know, we gotta do more than breed. Like, if I do something like this, yeah. I don't just want to like breed. I want to like, like, like brand it. Make sure mm-hmm. not only do we breed, but we we can add something to the community, yeah. help to the dogs, everybody involved. And he kept telling me about shows. Yeah, right. Those he dog shows like about, crazy. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, this guy does Karina Mac events. Yeah, he's right. Like marketing is his thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, look, man, there's more than one way to skin a cat, dude. Exactly. There's a lot of money out here in this industry for one, but there's multiple ways to give back. For yeah. sure. So I'm like, knowing this guy, you know, that's why I kept getting on him. You know, I, I let it simmer, but then I'm back on him, back on him. Like, hey, man, you need to do this. So he finally came aboard. You know, we, we, we made sure we got him something real, real good and quality, you know, something with a nice color, but still true to the French Bulldog standard, you know, letting them understand, like, look, you see those, but the quality's not that yeah. great, you know. But then you see those and – Maybe the price is, you know, maybe out of your league or maybe it's not. But I just had to let him know how dynamic the Frenchies were. But to get him on board, like he said, we started talking about this show, yep. you know, that could be. And we're just talking about dog shows in general. Like, yeah. hey, man, just throw a dog show. You know, do and, another event this way. And I've never been to any. Never I've never been, been to any. And I'm like, ah, you know, I wasn't really focused. I was looking more at the, uh, <laughs> you know, casino events. Yeah. I was looking more at, like, the um, – the weddings. I was looking just like events in general as a whole, you know, just throw together. And then I, I went to my first dog show and it was the first one actually after the pandemic, I should okay. say, because it was when the pandemic was kind of breaking out. And so it was big. It was in Riverside. It was by uh, SoCal, right? Yeah, yeah. SoCal Cali, uh, so- SoCal Bully Meeks, I think. Is that the one? SoCal yeah. Bully Meeks, the first the, the, one? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. SoCal Bully Meeks. It was like, Big. Oh yeah, over there off of Market. Yeah, 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 Bro, yeah. They had this little it was spot. So big. people and yeah. people were like, people were probably like it, bound up. What? During yes. 2020, they're like what? ready to get Everybody out. Everybody and their mama was out and there. And so I'm looking at mean? this, and I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm, and I'm, I went to the event, and that's when I was, I had, uh, I still do recording now, but not like I used to. But I was recording, and I was doing stuff, and I was talking. I was like, hey man, they, this, these are all vendor booths, right? Like, like, yeah. I asked, how much you pay for your booth, man? I said like five hundred for this. I'm looking at all these booths. I'm like, what? <laughs> he's like, marketing events. He's like, what? Five thousand, fifteen, two, yeah, twenty-five, yeah. thirty. And then while I'm there, I'm like, 
bro, my dog is kind of hot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, my dog is kind of hot. We got Frenchies. I'm like, how come there's only like three classes for the Frenchies and it's at the end of the event, mm-hmm. bro? Like, how come, you know, and I'm looking, I'm like, I'm like, man, we need to throw an event. And he was like, yes. He's like, yeah. got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> you know, the whole time we at the show, I'm, I'm watching him. I'm doing my thing, but I'm watching him. I yeah. got to check on my, my seeds. Yeah. I got to see what's up with my seedlings, yeah. you know? So I'm like, let me see what he's doing. He over here catching moments. And, and every time we lock eye contact, I hit him with the, <laughs> the lean in. <laughs> all right. You know what I mean? And then we go do our thing. We showing dogs. I'm, you know, t- got to talk to him at my booth. Yeah. But I see him again, and I'm, okay. <laughs> you know, that's something else we're going to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, after the event, man, cut straight to the chase. After the event, we just got to talking, and it just opened his eyes yeah. on exactly what I was meaning. So then we took it to the next level, and I'm thinking, like in my head, I'm thinking, I don't even throw shows. I breed dogs. Mm-hmm. He throws shows. I'm trying to get him to throw a show so maybe I could be the headliner at his shit or the – the 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 judge or i don't know i, yeah. I just want to make sure that my peoples get involved mm-hmm. and there's a lot of friends and family that i i try to get involved sometimes it's for them sometimes it's not yeah you know but once me and him got the rapping i'm like look man indoor mm. yeah now now you don't have to worry about the climate you 100%. know um just certain things i'm telling them like man you could do it like this you could do it like that I'll I'll, re, I'll repost everything, you know. It's all about sharing, yeah. mm-hmm. getting everybody to come together, you know, and and you actually no competition. Yeah. So yeah. then we kept talking, kept talking, and I said, "Look, man, I've always wanted to do just the only Frenchie show. <sighs> do you remember how that show went?" And then that's when the serious talk went. Yeah. And then he was like, "Yeah, man, I seen it was like this. I seen it was like that. I said Frenchies are the most dynamic. Like we're spending money." To, to test the Frenchie mm-hmm. to see what health issues are there, but not only that, to see what coat color genes may pop up so that we can make a certain color mm-hmm. on demand. Mm-hmm. So it mm-hmm. goes even deeper than just the average person taking care of the Frenchie just over the top with the food, yeah. with the, you know, sleeping in the bed or, you know, give a Frenchie his own bedroom or something. You know, <laughs> well, yeah. I done seen it all, yeah, you know, yeah. but... We treat them like kids, man, and and they got the shorts now, so they're susceptible to you know getting cold just like we are. Yeah. If it's too cold for you, it's too cold for your Frenchie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If it's too hot for you, it's too hot for your Frenchie. You know. So, I basically told him like, man, we just gotta take it up a notch, you know. And I'm like, I can get involved and we can do it together. I'm just I don't do shows, yeah. and I kept saying I don't do shows. But we're like, and, and he you don't, don't do dog shows, <laughs> and I don't do shows. We come together. We this might a, be something. And, and, and it's a saying, right? Like uh, like money when you spend it is gone, but knowledge is forever monetary, sure. right? You know yeah. what I mean? So, and he's the type where he is a, and and I'm the same way. It's like you gotta be a better student to be a good teacher. For right? sure. So it's always, I'm always trying to learn something from somebody. I'm never like, I'm always trying to figure something out wherever I go. Right. And so that's how he does it. And, I, and then once he said, Hey, let's do indoors. Boom. He bought up sanitation crew. I said, you are sick. I said, Oh my God. And then the show Way too many it. times you go to these yes. shows and there's just poop here, poop uh, yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they'll throw up piss. It's just stinky. Yeah. Never there, man. been to a show that had a sanitation crew. I've never been to one. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so the thing is, people that went to the show this January, the, the uh, January earlier this year, they said it didn't even smell like dog. Yeah. You can tell. And that was part of what we wanted to do. Catered meals, uh, VIP section, uh, champagne served, not that. You know what I mean? And we wanted to create an environment, kids area, so they could play, mm-hmm. a rest area, so people can get their food from the concessions and sit down. A lot of giveaways drawings we had drawings for people so it was um we got the saxophone guy come out for about <laughs> live 30 musician. minutes you know nothing My too bad. crazy yeah. you know um a lot of a lot of these other shows are starting to do like rappers and coming out and all that's fine Mar- mariachi bands i've seen all of it all that's nice yeah. it's just for us to be indoor you know we want to bring a whole different vibe yeah. and we got a we got a guy man young cat um jay boinkins yep. and um he does his thing on, on that saxophone sweet yeah i you think know? i think the thing is that it's it's interesting to see you guys like okay you saw someone that people do yeah now we're just gonna make it better yeah period. and then and then i think nowadays people just like when people That's go to things weird. they just want they they want to be entertained mm-hmm. have, it takes so much for us to be entertained mm-hmm. now that's like we better have this and then 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 this you know what i mean like 
you, dogs are like the sub like yeah this is what people bring, come here for yeah but what else can we get them well, into how are we gonna keep them engaged how are we gonna know? keep them for two three days and then how do we charge people more for booth and then how do we you know what i mean yeah. and then it's like and all of a sudden now people are like oh dude i have to be at that show not that i want to be there yeah i have to be at the show that's yeah. what we did we made sure it was a half to, a yeah. must have a must we're not trying to be the best the greatest we're just trying to be something different mm -hmm. that you guys have to be there because mm -hmm. it's different mm -hmm. you know so basically only frenchies we don't let any other breed in there yeah usually a dog show especially a bully show that's the nickname for these style of dogs. Mm -hmm. You have those American bullies. You have those exotic bullies. Um, and then you have those English bulldogs. Yeah. And then you have your Frenchies. That'll make up pretty much like a bully show. Um, we just wanted Frenchies only. Lucky. Well, I think the biggest thing you that's guys it. went niche. Yeah. And that's what everyone's saying now. You got to go niche. Yeah. Online, yes. you have, like, people have to know when I go to your page, I'm only going to see Frenchies. Yeah. Yes. That's all I'm going to see. That's it. And I think that's the problem where people make mistakes online. Like, People always ask me, like, you don't really share your personal life. I'm like, because I want people to come to my page. You got what's good in Riverside, and it's only about Riverside. Yeah. And this is what Riverside is. Yeah. And then you have my real estate team. It's just real estate. Yeah. You're not, like, in real estate, and then now it's bouncing back and there forth. It's one thing. You know exactly where you're going to get. You know what I mean? I and think that's, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. Too many people want to try to do all of it because you're right. not scared of losing the people that are going to come. From, not at all. Like, you know what I mean? No, like, not at all. What, what, if, what if we're going to lose them because they have a bull and they don't like It's funny you whatever. say that because a lot of people they were, get scared. were That's a segue. That, yeah. They were trying to tell us, like, you might be shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah. A lot you're of people. You're taking, you know, that's one third of an average show. Like, you're going to be losing money. I'm like, look, we're not even doing it for the money. Yeah. As long as we get compensated for yeah. the work that we put in, mm -hmm. the hours, the months, the days, yeah. we're like, this is what we want to do. And it's a yeah. long play. It's a long it's, play. It's one right. piece to the rest of the puzzle. Yes. It's not like you just do shows. Yeah, exactly. We're trying to make money on merch and this and breeding. And, like, it's yeah. so narrow-minded. Yes. Yeah. That, exactly. like, bro, you know how many other plays are out there? Yeah. <laughs> you know what this I mean? Is, this is the, the pond <laughs> yeah. moving to space. That I'm yeah. making the first move. This is <laughs> one <laughs> move. What are you talking about? This, that's all it is. But and then all of a sudden it's checkmate, and the person's like, how did we lose? How uh, did you, you know do that? Yeah. Exactly. Well, it's all these little you know. moves. Yeah. And we, we're, we're, we're happy to say that um, we're one of the first, if not the first, only Frenchie show. Um, we see that there's a lot of them popping up now. Yeah. And we, we encourage that, you know, because they're in different states. Yeah, yeah, can't they're be. in different areas. Yeah. We can't corner the market. Yeah. We know better than that. That's why we started this is because it's so dynamic and it's everywhere. Frenchies are everywhere. Yeah. There's more to go around. So what it actually did was make other people feel comfortable coming out. Yeah, I mean, they don't normally go to shows. They see what happens at shows. Sometimes they fist fight at shows. Sometimes they just don't want their dog next to a big one because they're scared of that mm -hmm. style of dog. Yeah. Whatever it is, it just it doesn't matter. We needed to fix that, and we needed people to feel comfortable coming out to a show. There's breeders that have been breeding for 10, 20, 30 years, never been to a dog show. Yeah. Hmm. Never, yeah, ever. It's intimidating. You yes. know what I mean? It's an intimidating yes. thing. I don't think when you're in this space, I think we kind of forget sometimes how it's intimidating to people outside the space. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how do who do I show up? Like, I'm that way. Like, people think I'm like the Mr. Out, Mr. Outgoing guy. I'm like, if I don't know someone at an event that I'm homies with, yeah, like, I'm yeah. hard to show up. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, now I know you guys, but I'm down. Like, because oh, yeah. I can dab up, whatever. This is, you kind of like guide you through the show. But if you're brand new and you don't got no connections with anyone, yeah. it's a scary thing to it show is. up. It can get it, can it gets get nerve wracking for sure. You know and we got I mean? some more. We got some uh, some passes for you too. Oh. We're, wait, we're waiting on a custom wristband. Oh, to come through. Yeah, but we want you to be able to do that to, to, for you and whoever you want to Bro, go. We'll, and, and we'll bring the squad and we'll do. Dude, yeah. I think that's it's so funny. Like yeah, I started doing this like six years ago. Right when I got into real estate, and people are like, "What the hell are you doing? Like mm. podcasting." <laughs> What's with a camera guy? Who do you think you're gonna be? like? So with the agent? Why hey, is there an agent? What's with an agent? You know what I mean? You have to. And pe but now people look at me. They're like, "Oh, bro, I want to do a podcast. Oh, bro, I want to do this." I'm like, "Dude, good luck." Yeah. Like you should have got on six yeah. years ago. No, yeah. you're right. Because you know what I mean? Since, since the pandemic, it's oh, tough. It's crazy it's now. It's tough. And man. it's and, and content has been here since YouTube first came out. I don't For know sure. if you know who Gary V is yeah. or not. Uh, bro. Gary, bro, look at. I have Gary V shoes. Uh -huh. on there. Oh, right there, that's my boy. Okay, so you Gary already know. Okay. You already know what content okay, does. On. 
for you already he know what's going on. Gary V. Oh, Gary language, man. Look at, look at, he had to go Gary, readjust real quick. Gary V has <laughs> changed my life. Gary V is man. the only reason He's I have right. all of this. He's Gary right. V. I found Gary V's book back in 2015, his first book. Uh, to crush I, it. Yeah, I read it. Yep, I know. Yeah, and I literally I like. Six months later, got into real estate, and mm. that is the only He's reason beast, I do all bro. this. Man. It is After the only Russia, reason. That's when I started uh, 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 marketing. Stuff. That is the only oh, okay. reason. See, he put me on to him. Literally. You know, I don't Literally. I don't really follow him on a day-to-day, oh, but bro. there'll yeah. be times where he'll just send me a video. I'm like, okay. You know? Gary V now to me is like a B12 shot, right? Like, ah, actually, shut I, the fuck I was actually listening to him this morning, right? I was kind of not feeling it this morning, so I was like, okay. let me throw a little Gary V on, right? Yeah. The problem with him is like he's into NFTs and stuff like that, which I get. Yeah. Like, I'm not an NFT guy, but like, I'll, I'll go back and watch a like little motivational thing and like yeah. the process and be patient. And yeah. it's like, dude, like if you walk around my office, I have quotes of Gary V throughout my office. Yeah, he's about, about getting ahead of the curve, man. Exactly. He's about, he's about like, 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 don't. Don't uh, go against innovation or, or, or mm-hmm. trends or change because it's gonna happen. With exactly, you, exactly. No, like, Gary Vee. You gotta, you gotta change use my the life, truth, man. He's changed my life. Shout truth, out to man. Gary Vee, man. If I if Gary Vee <laughs> ever watches this, oh, like, he's gonna see this. If I ever like, he is probably someone like you know that if I could meet for five minutes for real, just to give grace to him. And it sucks when you see people like, oh, he's a scam artist. But I'm like, you're just not seeing yeah. the right picture mm-hmm. on how mm-hmm. you know what I mean. It, Some people are just not for everybody. Not for exactly. everyone. At the end of the day, yeah. you know, so I know and that, what you're and that's, saying. And that's great what you guys did because you yeah. were like, hey, we don't need a show for everyone. Yes, yeah. exactly. No. We that's don't exactly need to be everyone's There's a lot of those. There's we a got lot of those. those. You got yeah. those dominated, yeah. but we're going to do our thing, yeah. and we're okay with what we do. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we want to bring a lot of people in who are maybe are new or are not familiar or who don't know much or trying to learn because that's that was one of the reasons we said. That's, that's number one. I said, hey. We, we got to start a foundation where we can just uh, do at least an academy or something to teach. He was like, yeah, we do. Like, you know, teach them like the, the, the levels, the days. Mm-hmm. And not only that, teach them home remedies, how, how to uh, uh, rehome. We're, we're partnering with the uh, animal shelter here over there. Of yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, we, we, we are partnering. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're partner not with going that. to. Yeah, we we're are. already locked in. We have a partnership with that. And hopefully that grows. Like, we, we have plans yeah. to just partner up with all of them in Riverside. So yeah. we started with the one that's successful. It doesn't look like it's going to be slowing down. Yeah. Yep. So now it's going to be a lot going on. Like we might as well say it because it's already locked in. But we're going to try to do like a a, a Frenchy Friday, French Bulldog Friday, yeah. yep. Yep. to where you know once a month people looking for Frenchies, looking to rehome them, looking to just adopt them, they could come down here to the animal shelter mm-hmm. one Friday a month, and we'll have those those dogs there. Um, we'll show them on our our web page, yeah. mm-hmm. um, onlyfrenchies.org. Um, because we do have a nonprofit, um, you know, going going with the LLC. We just want to make sure that we can connect with the people, Mm -hmm. because not a lot of people know where to buy a dog. Oh, for sure. If you do find out how to where to buy the dog, do you have the money to to buy that particular dog? I think that's the thing people realize how much how expensive they are. You might not even want to breed, but you still sometimes got to pay that that premium, yeah, Yeah. because of who you run into or how the dog is, you know, uh, produced, Mm -hmm. the colors, you know, some of that stuff gets real exotic and real sought after. So. They they could put any price tag they want, and if that's the only guy you know, guess what? You're probably paying whatever price he, yeah, wants, he wants to pay. Exactly. I'll tell you what, so. I feel so bad when I go to Petco or whatever, and I see like missing dogs and st- that stuff. Yeah, yeah that is because I, I know how much my dogs mean to me. Yeah. they're like my children. Like, yeah, literally, they sleep in bed with me. Literally, they look, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. Look, I mean, Frank, we got corgis everywhere. You know, we got, <laughs> we got corgis everywhere. You know what I mean? Like corgis for me are like the game. You know, I love them so much. And so when you see that passion that people have for a dog breed, like my girl's like, "Hey, I want to get this dog." I'm like, "Nope." Yeah. And she's like, like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, "Listen, you got three kids. I've accepted those. <laughs> yeah. You got to accept corgis." Yeah. Like we yeah. only get corgis. Period. Like, we period. Equal medium, Literally, right? we're only get, like <laughs> I. I was funny. I posted uh, Instagram on the Explorer page it was like all corgis last night, and I was like, I think Instagram's trying to tell me I need another dog. Damn. <laughs> so what is man. it? So what was it about Frenchies? Like you started breeding them back in the day. Like what? Okay, what made you so like? So pretty much my origin. Um, I've been breeding for a long time, yeah. man. I, I even had my first pit bull in the ninth grade Mm -hmm. you know her name was eve you know first one you know i'm trying to get creative at a young age you know so after that you know i just been having pit bull after pit bull didn't really start breeding them until like 
oh five oh six or something you know had a, had a couple guys that i got into it uh with told them like hey this is what i do if you want to get into this mm -hmm. let's go ahead and get this stud and i was able to get the stud with my boy sean and we 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 ran it up what you did know? the stud cost you um so at that time man everything was was pretty much like on the lower end when it comes to like pit bulls mm -hmm. so we were able to get it probably 1500 okay. or something like that um lilac good like come from good stock purple ribbon grand champion and um we were able to stud them out and then me and my brother had a female you know we were able to, to do our own mm -hmm. in-house stuff that way so we're just hitting it from every angle but it wasn't nothing like stop what you're doing and only breed yeah it, i i do it for the love yeah you know mm -hmm. so i was able to hook up some of my homies Sometimes I give it to them half off. Sometimes they pay full. You get if they want people first try to ask you, ask you get hooked up now. They, yeah, they, they be like, like bro, listen, man. And it's <laughs> like, dude, the hours alone. Yeah, we put it. The hours my wife would put into yeah. this. Yeah, I, you can't get this for this price. Yeah, you know it's funny. I had you know the, what I'm I saying? Had an Indian I had a, a guy that does. Indian, he's very famous Indian. Actually, up in Orangecrest, he sells Indian food out of his house, blowing mm -hmm. up right huge, yeah. right huge up in Orangecrest, like top three restaurants in Riverside now, like mm. fit, like on the news and everything. They're, they're killing it. He was man, here the other day. Bravo to him, He was killing it there, and you come and he's like, hey, bro, come through, and I'll hook you up. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I'll pay full price. And he's yeah. like, why? I go, bro, like, I'm here to support you. I don't want to get hooked yeah. up. I was like, because I understand, because I get that call. Hey, hook yeah. me up. Hey, like, can we borrow Adrian for free? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm still paying no, for sir. him. Yeah, yeah, I'm still paying I'm, for him. You think it's free to you? Ain't free to me. Yeah, right? yeah. You know I mean? So for you, it's like, dude, how much hours go yeah. into what it takes to breed a dog? And yeah, you know, I mean, now I will give you know discounts, yeah. you know, because you my ace boom. But yeah. yeah, I got a lot of buddies on me that that really paid for what I have, I for and they don't even breed. Yeah. They was like, oh, I'll try to get into it and. You know, it's available to breed, mm -hmm. but they don't do that, yeah. you know, so. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it, it, it is. It's a lot of work. So, for me, again, getting back to the origin, yeah. it was funny. Um, I stopped breeding for just a little bit, um, and then I go to my brother's house, and both of my younger brothers, you know, one that used to breed with me, and then the youngest one that didn't have anything to do with the breedings. He's the one that got these Frenchies, and she's in heat, mm -hmm. and. You know, YouTube is like the gospel. Yeah. So <laughs> they're at YouTube, like, yeah. oh yeah, we can do this. Let's lay down and let's put her <laughs> over our leg. And he, the guy said he did it like this, and because you know they can't do it naturally. Yeah. Um, there's a small percentage that can, but typically, you know, eight times out of ten they can't, you know, reproduce naturally. So you do artificial insemination. They had her. They they trying to get the semen from the other one. I'm I walk in like, what is going on? <laughs> What are y'all doing? Like, go to the vet or what? Like, tell somebody else. Yeah. And they're like, you you wouldn't be able to do it. You don't know this. This shit hard. I said, hey, man, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> and then, you know, so it got heated. You know how brothers yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. We getting heated in between brothers, but we grown. No, We're not doing none of that. We just doing a lot of this. So then they're like, I bet you you can't do it. What? Oh, yeah, okay. I'll be getting me a Frenchie real soon. I'll show you what's up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> now roll up. Sure. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But so here we are, man. I go ahead and give me a Frenchie. That's when I got I got with him. I was like, yo, man, I see you follow this cat, you know, Cali Frenchies, you know, now mm -hmm. LaShore French. Yeah. I see you follow this cat, man. Like, what's up with him? Everybody I'm tapping into is not even responding. Yeah. So I'm like, you follow him. He follows you. Yeah. So you know him. Isn't can, that funny? That's a can currency you call nowadays. Him? <laughs> That's a currency now. Like, yo, bro, I see that you follow this person. I need a favor. Can you I, give him a shout out? Like, I just need him to know I need a dog. Yeah. You know, so one thing led to another. Now me and him are ace yeah. boons too. And uh, we share information. We talk every day. Mm -hmm. You know, same yeah, thing with a lot of my up. boys. We really talk every day to the mm -hmm. point where my wife can't stand it, you know? And then I'm like, all right, well, you want to talk about this? Oh, no, no, no. Get on the phone with them. Just yeah. give me a little bit of time, but yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Get that out your system. Exactly. So um, one thing led to another, man, and I just started grabbing these dogs, and I I've been doing my thing with the breeding. Always wanted to, you know, give back and give away, you know, blankets to the homeless with mm -hmm. one logo on it maybe, but I just wanted to start building this foundation with these dogs because I also think, that um is good for the family yeah yeah and, and 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 my my parent company is brockington family breedings mm -hmm. because we may switch it up in 10 years we may not be doing frenchies yeah you know but i've done multiple breeds so 
I've been able to share a lot of this knowledge and time with my nephew, yeah, you know, to where mm-hmm. we connect on a whole nother level. My other nephew just started getting into it. We do a, a Only Frenchies Academy mm-hmm. with a nonprofit, and um, that's that's pretty much doing good too. Um, I don't know when the next one is that we're going to start, but and like he said with the uh, the family thing, that was kind big, of a big thing that, that brought me into it too, because you know um, my kids they want they they was like you know we want a pet dad we yeah. want a pet. like they they were asking because you know their friends had yeah. oh my daughter and we didn't really have a pet now i had a pet growing up and stuff so it's like i just you know i was telling them you know what i think it's time i think it's time when i was you know with, from, yeah. from, from brock i think it's time and, it, like and this was uh during the pandemic but the thing is um you know we're here for the long haul yeah you know what i mean a lot of people are rehoming and that was another thing we talked about with the only frenchies uh foundation is helping the people that you know because right now uh, a lot of people are uh, it's real trendy it's getting kind of saturated and you'll see a lot of Dogs that don't have that quality, that don't have that good bloodline, yeah. that aren't, you know what I mean? And sometimes they can't do nothing with their pups. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so a lot of stray ones, or a lot of, you know, but somebody would still like to oh, own yeah. that pup. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's, that, that was one, I, another yeah. reason why. I we, think it's crazy nowadays that it's like, oh, I had to have papers. Or that. Dude, when I was a kid, my dad got three from, great labs from, from, yeah. uh, Walmart, straight yeah. outside of Stater Brothers. Brothers right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Come on now. Like, my dad, my dad worked at Stater Brothers, so twice he came home on his lunch break with a dog. Mom was like, what? He was like, they were out front, and I, I wanted one. Yeah. And like, that's how it used to be to get it dogs is, back in the day. Real, now everyone's man. like, I got to have a breeder, and then I'm going to have to interview my breeder, and then I'm going to do this. <laughs> I need background check. I need a background need check on this dog. I warranty on this dog. Like, I know. what? Insurance on yeah. the what yeah that's just the way the game goes it's a different game now it's like i tell people all the time though i'm like dude if you don't have the money to invest in your dog and don't get one like if you don't got money to drop them in the vet the this and that like don't don't get them especially uh these these frenchies man they have you know the breathing uh the um making sure a lot of them that the skin their diet Mm -hmm. you know you got to take care of them and then don't get a french bulldog and think you're just gonna run miles with it you know yeah (laughs) they're not they're not they're not your running dog now you know what i'm saying but the one thing i will say they are very good comfort dogs yeah right like they they need a lot of attention give them toys and if you don't get them attention don't be mad if they're gnawing on your mm-hmm. your couch or yeah. something like that. Mm-hmm. Like they'll they're, tear they're some very, stuff up. Yeah. You know, they're still dogs. Yeah. You know, they're still dogs. You know, uh, but you can't just leave them outside like we would do. Uh, you know, uh, the Rambo. I don't even. First dog Rambo. Put them outside. <laughs> just leave them out there. I don't leave my. Outside. I don't yeah. let my dogs outside. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Hell no, dude. They're yeah. princesses. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so real quick question yeah. for you, though. Yeah, I know you got the corgis. Yeah. How, what do you? Like just from your point of view, you you being a corgi owner, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. multiple corgi owner, Two, yeah. Um, how do you see the Frenchies? You know, just knowing how your dogs are, and they're obviously different than a Rottweiler yeah, or something, for sure. You know, but you see the trends going yeah. with the Frenchies. So just from the outside looking in, what are your thoughts on the whole Frenchie community? Um, maybe shows if you knew about yeah. them or just breeding. I, I think the biggest thing is that I think the hard thing, like even with corks, right, like. I like small dogs. That's yeah. like my style of dog. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind. A, I don't mind a big dog. But like for me and my lifestyle, it's like I want my dog in my bed. Yeah. He's my yeah. best friend. Yeah. Like I want to cuddle with him on the couch. I want to not have to worry about him getting out and then someone getting bit and did like you know what yeah. I mean. Like yeah. I don't think people realize that. Like yeah. you know liability. So for, <laughs> liability. Exactly. You know yeah. what I mean. So I think yeah. that's the biggest thing for that is like with people, it's like, dude, it's like it. Your dog fits your lifestyle. For real. Like I'm not taking my dog on a hike, right? They won't make it. Their legs are this. They're the same <laughs> leg. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm also not trying to do that. Like yeah. you know what I mean? But like I think the, I think the thing is, is it's interesting. I think I think Frenchies are gonna still do well in the future. I think, I think Corgis will always do well. I think like Bulldogs will well because they look good on Instagram. Not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah. Like I think people scroll on their page and like that's a really cool dog like i want to like that's how it all starts nowadays and i think whatever dog looks great online is gonna always do well you know what i mean i just think like the hard part is is like what you guys face is like not every dog's built the same and yeah. not every breeder's the same and, yeah. and you don't it's so dynamic and, and you don't man. and, you, and then the market trap. gets watered down yep. and then what sucks is if you get a bad frenchie or a bad any dog from a breeder and then that dog doesn't do well, then you don't like Frenchies. When it's yeah. like, you know, you, and, you just and, got the wrong dog. And you that's got the part wrong of breeder. You got the, yeah, exactly. You got, you and, know. You just tell, and you just inform. It's all about informing. That's what I, that's what we said. Like, even your new people. We mm-hmm. want to just inform them um, and, and always forever learn so they know what choices to make. Like, yeah. well, if you want something that 
you know, looks like this, then they <laughs> might not have the best health or size or structure. Yeah. yeah. If you want something that's nice and, and good and toned, it might not be a rainbow. Yeah. Like, if I, you know what I mean? Well, so the no like, dog's yeah. perfect either. It's not yeah, like exactly. Kid. Yeah. You're no going to have to give it, like, my dog shed, like, yeah. nobody's business. They have, there's so much dog hair everywhere. He's the only one for me that does a lot. Literally so much hair. He does a lot. And I just have committed to saying, F it. I'm dealing with dog hair. It yeah. is what it is. I'm sorry. I you can't. learn how to deal I've with it. You learn how to, learn to get those types of instruments <laughs> yeah. that can clean it the dog stops, hair. It never stops, for sure. But that's you know? part of owning that type of dog. Yeah. And I buy into that. You know what yeah. I mean? And I think that's the bigger thing is like what people have to realize. There's no perfect dog. Yeah. And they're just like children. And it, and it's exactly sad. Like it's sad to see. I don't. I personally don't know how people can just walk away from their dogs. Like it is like yeah, my dog got out the other day. It was the worst five minutes of my life. Like I literally was freaking out. Mm. And it was my girl's fault too. No, no offense. <laughs> I'm gonna put on her. And she was like, "Oh my god, if I lost your dog, I was like, we'd be done." I was like, "That'd be like me losing your child." That was like losing a the kid. Child. Yeah. How yeah. do you how do you guys handle you know I, how like what do you spend eight to twelve weeks when they're pups? Is that how long you guys hold them? Um, yeah, about at least eight minimum. Minimum. And then 10 if, you know, maybe they're coming from out of town. Sometimes we want to make sure they're extra vaccinated Mm -hmm. to where there's even times where I'll hold a dog until it's fully vaxxed. Okay. But that's me talking with that client, understanding that that client can't get out. Mm -hmm. They just want a dog, but they can't really get to the vet unless it's an emergency or you have to. But they go to work. You yeah. know, they can't really keep that schedule. This is their first dog, mm-hmm. but they got kids. And it's like, look, the kids are letting the dog outside. Yeah. They're walking the dog to the mailbox. Whatever you call it, they're leaving the door open, yeah. the dog's going outside. So sometimes, depending on who the client is, um, we'll just go ahead and make a custom package oh, for them. Yeah. You ever turn you know? clients down? I've turned a few clients down. Um, and usually, I only turn clients down when they lie. Yeah. Because if you're lying about something so small... Then it's you, just like, now, yeah. what what are your real intentions with this dog? Yeah. And that's, I mean, you'll, you'll talk to some people on a business standpoint. It's like, why are you turning down? Like, once they buy it, it's, that's their business. Yeah. And it's like, yes and no. You know, we put a lot of hours with these pups. When these pups go, a little oh, piece no, of us That's what I was going to ask you. I, that, yeah, that's, no, a str- that's a struggle. It's, yeah, I had to train my wife on letting oh, your dogs wife, your go. Your wife's like, we're keeping all of them. Yeah, <laughs> she's just like, oh, like I walk in the house, one's on her chest. What are you doing? Yeah. You named the dog? You can't like, name them. You <laughs> cannot do that. There's yeah. nicknames for every puppy that come around. Yeah. You know, and she does whelping. Okay. You know, so whelping the IE, that's her thing. She was able to kind of branch off of what we're doing as well. Uh, Brock fan Bulldogs. Mm-hmm. Is, is, real is, quick, is my... what is whelping? Whelping is, is pretty much uh, nurturing and nursing the dogs. So usually a dog is self whelp. You know, they have the puppies. Mm-hmm. Um, they, the puppies come up to them. They could just hop out. Uh, you know, sometimes the old yeah. school, you'll get like the little swimming pool mm-hmm. um, and then put some blankets in there. And now the dog has their area. So with the whelping, uh, we pretty much got to assist them because sometimes they'll they'll crush the dog uh, or sometimes because they don't even have them naturally. Right. Yeah. So they're being sedated mm-hmm. and they're getting a C-section and then you're coming home with puppies and the mom in the car. Once you get get home, she's still out of it. Yeah. You know, so you kind of got to put her in her crate or put her in her little area where she's going to be where she could take a nap. And then she'll wake up and she'll want to feed her dogs or she may not want to feed them. Yeah. But that whole first 24, 48 hour period, yeah. it gets tough. That's stressful. It, it's that's very of, that's stressful. The Frenchies right there. Is, very um, stressful. Is uh, teaching and you know what I mean? Like, yeah, because how many people that may have been listening to this may not even know what whelping is. Yeah, that's it's I like would that. be Do you guys. Um, like I said, we got the whelper, though. Yeah. My wife, yeah. whelping I, whelping underscore. That's what I'm saying. You got to have so many pieces. Mm-hmm. It's not just one thing yeah that's where people make the mistake they think it's just one yeah no and they don't realize you need so many different people to get a business going and i think too many people want to do everything on their own and it's like it's like people always dm me all the time i get more dms than adrian does all the time hey what uh how do you guys do that I don't know. Call it DM this guy. I, I have no. Yeah, that yeah. is not my space. I don't do that. I don't man. do that. And if Adrian had to be here, he couldn't do yeah, this. Yeah. And I think that's the thing is like he's the marketing guy. You're the breeder. Your wife is like everyone has to play their part. Yep. To actually build something. Yep. Not 
not just be a breeder. It's a yes. roster. Exactly. It's a roster. It's a roster, exactly. and sometimes you'll find yourself playing both sides. You know, you got to play offense and defense yeah. until you get more players on that roster. Mm-hmm. Now you can be a better offensive player. And then the company yep. gets better. Oh, Thanks. come on now. Exactly. So we're slowly building and building. And um, I have my own company, yeah. Brock Fan Bulldogs. He has his own company, yeah. Jazzy Frenchies, you know, with the dogs. Yeah. But we have our, our companies together. Um, he also has Karina Mackin Events. That's probably like one of the parent, you know, companies mm-hmm. that help get this thing started. Because yep. there's a lot behind throwing an event. Oh, yeah. If you're just throwing it at the park, you may get away with a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. But now you're trying to go to this multi million dollar building. Insurance. Insurance uh, right out the uh, gate. Um, you know, people do not realize right how much out the is, gate. People do not realize how much insurance are for events. Especially, if, yeah, events insurance. We got That's two million. Yeah. yeah. It is like, so much money. That's man. what people like. Why don't you guys throw more events? I'm like, dude. You know the headache to throw an event is. Yeah. It's so much work. It is going you know, in there, lot, signing these time. papers. We're making adjustments. Yeah, making that adjustment is a whole new contract. Mm-hmm. It and is. we're like, what? Yeah, they're like liabilities. Liabilities. You guys want to come in one hour earlier? We got to re- revamp this. I'm like, oh man, it's a headache. So yeah. we've also practiced getting everything in order before we even go talk to them. Yeah. So yeah. there's just certain structures. To throwing our show, at least I won't speak about every show, yeah. but throwing our show at the Ontario Convention Center, there's so many layers that this time around it got even better. It got, yeah. it felt like it got smoother. It's only gonna get, you better. know, yeah. It's yeah. like we already know what to expect. Yeah. We already, you know, know exactly what levels, you know, to start doing some of this stuff. So, do you guys um, carry dogs that aren't you don't breed? Yeah. You do? It's one of those things where you end up falling in love with your first Frenchie. Oh, yeah. Or let's say, uh, like, he, he's a great dog. When when, when he's retired, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's still going to be around. Yeah. yeah. Because he's well-mannered, well-trained, mm-hmm. you know, so you can you can hang around. Yeah. Um, But there are, you know, sad times when you got to let the dogs go or you rehome them. Mm-hmm. Um, we retire them and we try our hardest to give them to a family member. Yeah. Yeah. So we can at least see them yeah, when we have a, a, a you function. Got, yeah, exactly. You know, they have a function. They have a birthday party. We go over there, we'll mm-hmm. see them. Or maybe they'll come to ours. Like, we try our hardest to do it that way, but Look. it doesn't work out all the time, yeah. you know. So we've been fortunate to run into people like members at Costco. Yeah. We've been going to Costco for so long. And we know some of them. And I went to high school with some guys like that mm-hmm. that, that work at Costco. I'm just yeah. using that for an yeah. example. And now, all of a sudden, there's five people at Costco that wouldn't mind a retired dog. Yeah. So now it's like, okay, once I retire her, Because she not can everyone's go to meant for a puppy. Not everybody's meant for not a puppy. Every- Puppies are Ooh. so much work. Even two, three years in, sometimes you just want the older, chill dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Everyone want, thinks they want puppies. They really don't. You no. don't want a puppy. If no. you want a Frenchie, you don't want a puppy. No. Yeah. Uh, so you guys are obviously business owners. Were you guys always having entrepreneurship tendencies even growing up? Yeah. Yeah. Growing up, I mean, there's been times that early on we're, you know, buying and selling uh, uh, candy bars. That's oh, yeah. You know, 99 yeah. Cent Store first opened up. Oh, yeah. And you can get three candy bars for, for 99 Cent. Yeah. Come on, man. And you go to school and sell them off? That's Come my on, boy, man. Uh, yeah. You know, my cousin actually put me on to that. I'm over there at his house staying at night. He's like, yeah, he's got these big freezer bags, mm-hmm. and he's got the baby roofs, and he's yeah. got the 100. And I'm like, man, what, like, let me get one. He's man, like, the best day? Only one. And I'm like, why are you acting like that? He's like, look, man, I got, I'm selling these. Dude, that happened uh, last night. And I'm night. like, what do you mean uh, this candy? Man, we dude, kids. Last Eat this. Night. He's like, nah, I'm going to show you. Let's go to When we go to school, I'm going to show you. Mm-hmm. We went to school, man. Not even lunchtime, bro. He sold out. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, we younger. Yeah. He's like, boom, made 30 bucks. I said, you made $30? <laughs> <laughs> like, real quick, like, yeah. okay, we about to make 60 Yeah. You know what I mean? So my cousin, shout out to Terrence, um, Terrence Lewis, man. When Lewis helps, he's still helping people today, man. Yeah. You know, um, but that we've always been on that entrepreneur since yeah. we've been selling, younger, selling, dude. Uh, selling burnt CDs. Burn selling CDs. burnt CDs. Selling burnt CDs. Whatever you could it do, you know, it's down. growing up, man. Yeah. It's like you got to get that extra extra bread. Yeah. To, you might want to do some things. Yeah. You might want those Jordans, you know. My uh, girlfriend's son is 11, 10, <clears throat> and he's selling candy now. 
right? Yeah. 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 So, so we were at the baseball field last night. He's like walking around selling candy, whatever. It's like yeah. his new thing. Yeah. And last night he's like, oh, dude, I, well, I'm like, bro, you can't eat your own stash. Can't that is like the own. number one rule oh, you don't yeah. do. Oh. You don't eat your own stash. Yeah, I'm like, I want to make the drug be like, bro, you're the drug dealer. You can't, that's can't like get, the number yeah, one yeah. rule. Can't get you fly off your own you supply. Don't get, exactly. <laughs> that is like the, the, and I go, and I looked at, I said, bro, I said, I hope you know, you eat your own stuff, you lose money. I go, You're losing money. That candy ain't for you. I go, you got to go sell it. And <laughs> he looked at me. He's like, but I was hungry. I was like, I don't care. Yeah, you got to go in you that gotta, pantry, man. You got to go gotta somewhere else. Go eat your own candy. You yeah. Or buy a whole separate stash exactly. of some different candy. Exactly. But it's just a mental thing. You just have to mm-hmm. you have to train yourself yeah. not to do that because yeah. it's real easy to be like, oh, I got some. Let me get that. But it's crazy how candy's you know? how it started. Like my boy, I don't know if you know who he is, Justin, who owns One Love IE Clothing Company. Mm-hmm. He, we, went, we grew up together. And he started by the same thing, selling candy in high school. And then that turned into product. Ain't that and crazy, it, it, man? Like That's literally <laughs> selling candy. And now he has two shops. Like, And shout out to them, man. Just holding down the IE like that. Mm-hmm. Really being the yeah. forefront of. And not expanding out. Come like, on, this man. This is what we're at. Come on, yep. man. A lot of people, yep. I don't know, yep. entrepreneurially, like in my head, he's like one of the guys that yeah. got it out the mud. Because yeah. you regular. And you put the IE as a brand, and and the way he did it, he just got love from every mm-hmm. city, every side. I know, of and, the it, and Empire. he's blowing up in the city, crazy and like, man. You know what I mean? Like he played the game right. Yeah, you know. So shout out to him, shout man, out for not Justin, selling yeah. out, and you know, man, and it looks good too. Yeah, yeah, and it looks good. Yeah, you it's know? funny, dude. Like it's I'll, quality I'll stuff, stop by man. the shop. We'll talk for like an hour in the shop, just me and him. Because, like, going back to what we were talking about, it's so hard to find people that have that entrepreneur. Right. Right? Like, why not expand? Why not do it this way? It's like, bro, you don't process the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, we're going to try to franchise this thing here, man. Back to Only Frenchies. We're gonna to try to franchise it. We got a couple of little opportunities that's starting to present this, yeah, we got itself. Yeah, projects coming. Yeah, up. so and it's never like we wanted it to just stay yeah. here. We understand Frenchies are worldwide. Yeah, you yes. know, um, we just feel like the mecca of the French Bulldog competition. You know, the competitiveness is right here in the Inland Empire. Yeah, there's a lot going on in Miami and Florida. There's a lot going on in Texas. There's a lot going on everywhere. You know, these dogs are everywhere, but. When I see what I see, that's what I go for, mm-hmm. and we had to get we had to get Ontario. And, yeah. and it, that's and right started, here in the mecca of it. It's, for me, it's in the mecca. This is man. Southern California is stiff competition. Yeah, man. stiff competition. When mm-hmm. we say man. French bulldogs and the quality mm-hmm. of a French bulldog, there's wild. nobody that can hold a candle to what we yeah. do. Do you out get here. do you get pissed when you see people on Instagram, you know, the, or Facebook or whatever, selling Frenchies? You're like, bro, that's not. A- <sighs> Man, we, we, we learn not to get pissed anymore. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, first time being in this and it's like, bro, what is that? Yeah. Why why does the why is there a muzzle on that French That's bulldog? Crazy. Yeah. You know, why is why is there a they tail? Why is that tail like this long? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, so again, the Frenchies are so dynamic. People are just putting dogs together. Yeah. And then just having puppies, a forty pound, and they're not really understanding, you know, size, structure, or color, yeah. or health. Yeah, you know, really. it's like they're just not getting it. They just want, they just see the money. Yeah, someone DM me. They just see the fame. Someone DM you know? me. And they're like, "Hey, um, my sister has a half corgi. Would you be interested in breeding your boy?" And I'm like, "No." I'm like, what? "Why would I? My dog who has papers. <laughs> why would I breed him mm-hmm. with not a full blooded corgi with papers? Right. Like, it doesn't make sense." Nah. To cro- yeah. Like, why would I do that? Because so your, your love for the corgi. Yeah. Why would I do? So then you can go trying to pawn them off of a half corgi. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. And try to make a few extra. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I can't. I can't do that. You know what I mean? I mean, I've, ta- I've thought about breeding, but it's like, dude, I, I know. I don't, I don't have the time or the effort yeah. or the knowledge Man. or any of that. Yeah. Like, I think that's the thing. Like, dude, respect respect the craft respect. Mm-hmm. of what you got what you got going on that to think that you can just, like your your younger brothers i'm just gonna jump in and do this because i watched a youtube video yeah <laughs> or or because i watched you growing up mm-hmm. you could do it yeah. i could do it like yeah. yeah no yeah you know i mean there's things that you i can't do a backflip and you can do a backflip <laughs> i'm not about to go out there and just try to do backflips yeah. without busting my head at exactly. least exactly you know so it's just one of those things i'm pretty sure they could have got it mm-hmm. But I just walked into the the house and they're right there for their first time and I just got on them so bad. Yeah. They were probably just pissed, like, 
Well, you can't do You know what yeah. I mean? So it's just one of those things, man. My heart, my soul is in this breed. Yeah. I, I breed anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll breed sharks if I can <laughs> afford a tank. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and clean it out. I love breeding. Yeah. That's my thing. You know what I mean? So even if these Frenchies are, are not doing what they're doing, it'll either be a different breed mm-hmm. if I really want to make it a business, or I'll still keep me a couple of Frenchies at home yeah. and just make a breeding like once or twice a year. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I How many times do you do it a year now? For for me, man, I'm probably doing like 12 readings 12 a year. every month? Yeah, at least every okay. month I'm doing okay. something because I also have co-owns. Okay. Um, So, you know, there's family members that want one foot in. Oh, okay. You know? Um... Yeah, when he started, I paid him. I paid him by food. Mm. That's how I started paying him at first. Was like buying him food. Word up! So he got a passion for this. Oh, oh yeah, that's he what it is. He, he was able to the, accept that because he'll do it for that's free. What spo- that's what you spoke. I love it so much. He'll do, do it for bro. free, man. Well, that's and then, and then the it. thing is, now it's like we have clients that call it, like in the real estate space. I tell them all the time. I go, dude, you know how much money these people have in real estate? These real estate companies, these realtors. I go, dude, this is the space. I was like, it's boring. It's easy. They don't expect high end stuff, but yeah. they know they need to be on Instagram. Yeah, we can make so much money off just showing people how to do, it, and that's why the, the media warehouse is coming, dude. Oh. Dude, shout out to you the for that, warehouse. man. So yeah, that's gonna we gonna be using warehouse? that. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be using. It. Oh like yeah, he, I don't house. think you told him. Oh no, we were talking off air. Right, let's go back. Bro. So, so the goal for me in the future is to have a full like five thousand square foot warehouse of media, right? And so then it's going to be a subscription-based service where you pay a blank amount of money a month. You get this many hours in the studio. So if you have a podcast, this is the podcast you run. We'd be able to customize the podcast so, room. And, and every room would be something like Different. this, the nice setup or whatever. Different. Like, yep. not, and it'd not, be like yeah. green screen one room, gotcha. a podcast room gotcha. for another room. Um, like we have interactive whiteboards where you can do like things. We'd have like a Facebook Live video. Like we have a, a girl that comes in who's starting Bro. to come in now. Instagram Live. Instagram Live, Facebook Live. We run it to a 65 inch TV so you can be doing your live, but then see the comments behind the camera there it and is. be able to answer the questions while you're doing these what? things. That's hard. And so like then that. every room is going to be a different <laughs> style of media. And then that will be, and you just walk in, it'll be set up for you. You get done, we edit it, drop it in your inbox. And it's going to be subscription based because that's the biggest issue with this space with them. It's like, you're always chasing that next client, but we have clients. It's like every month, this is what you pay us every single month. There's a check on the first coming to us. Yeah. That's the game for us. It's like yeah. getting that that's consistent it. business and it'll force you to come in and shoot and more content your because you're yeah. already paying for it anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that's, that's, that's going to work. Yeah. That's, oh yeah, it's going to work. Right. Cause think about for you guys, like what I pay, come in, shoot a podcast, we'll edit it for you, give it to you. Or you try to buy all this stuff, hire an agent. Like, it's just too much time and yes, money. It, because yeah. you guys are putting it all in it one serves, bundle phone. Exactly. If it's self it, so, it sounds like, 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 like Amazon. A lot of yeah. people don't even... If you tell somebody Amazon just sold books, they'd be like, what? Yeah, they Some don't people even, don't remember that. They don't even Am- know that. No, Amazon don't. just used to sell books, right? Exactly. So instead of just selling you a microphone or just selling you mm-hmm. a cameraman, I'll sell you the whole setup. Yeah. I'll give you everything. But exactly. everybody's winning. Yeah. Everyone and wins. Those are the best deals when both that parties are exactly. winning. Exactly. That's when. See, that's, that's the game. That's when, yeah, that's, that's when you're works. good. That's, that's when the you thing blow that people up, don't get about you know? this show. It's like, it's everyone wins. Everyone wins. Right? Like I enjoy having conversations with people like you because let's be honest. Without this podcast, I probably would never meet you guys. And I and I even if <laughs> I saw up. you in Orange Crest, I yeah. would probably have no reason to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, everyone's story is so important and so inspiring that you might not be on Rogan, but there's so many mini stories yeah. that can help someone who's like 18 years old and they love dogs and they like, oh man, maybe yeah. I could do this. Or an event coordinator like, oh dude, I could throw an event one day. I think th- the guy I had in the other day started a restaurant in his family's house because they were broke and in the pandemic hit and they were going to lose their house and then mm. said, hey, let's make some food. And now they've been on news channels and extra and they have Gosh. all these paid up people like Man. those are the stories that people need to hear from riverside to yeah. be like i can also do that yeah now, i didn't maybe i didn't grow up in la or orange county or blah 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 yeah. but i grew up on the east side of riverside Probably and back. i now throw events and i have multiple businesses huh. and i'm crushing the game yeah and that's the thing that people need to hear those, and those, that's why we do stories, this man. Exactly. that's why we because it's like dude there's two like listen 
Gary V going back to Gary. There's a lot of people that make 87 grand that would be ha- that are happy. Yeah. You don't have to be Yeah. riding in a Lambo. Is good money. Yeah, exactly. You're not riding in a Lambo. Money. You, you know? know what I mean? You're not riding in a Lambo, but you know what? 97 grand is a great living. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think I think that's the thing I hate about today's age. It's like dude, it's like bro, it's like you don't the odds of you being a multi multi-millionaire with a Lambo and all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. But you could you could make 60 great 69 grand a year. And have your life, and have your favorite dog, and then chill your life, yeah, and yeah, still be happy. Easy. Or take a risk of what you guys are doing, only going after Frenchies, and that's what we do. That's what and we that's do. That's what man. we do, yeah. and we okay about leaving those people out there. We're okay with that. Yeah. We ain't upset. We ain't trying to get the whole pie. We just want the good stuff. Yeah, it's and that was no love lost ball. either. Yeah. Cause we still go to the bully shows. Yeah, we all. We'll go yeah. crash the show, or we'll just sometimes we'll get a booth. But it's like, hey, even if we're not getting a booth, we're showing up yeah. with our shirt. Letting them know we still support that. Yeah. We're still with everything that we're doing as a community, yes. as a whole. We just kind of wanted to highlight some of the attributes coming from the French Bulldogs. Well, you just felt like side, they weren't man. getting the space that they no, needed. I just didn't feel like people was understanding. Well, English Bulldogs you know? are like the Bulldog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They are, you know, and they just, I feel like they've been, and I don't say they've been around longer, but I feel like they were out there more. Yeah. And people have kind of gotten used to those first. Yep. You know, exactly. like I remember back in the day, I wanted an English Bulldog. I wanted to name him Donatello. <laughs> and then I had, I had a, a girl that they had some, they're like, listen, if you want one, they're a, tons of work like that's a lot of work their their skin they get allergic to grass like she's like mine's allergic to grass i always have to have the fan on yep. they get overheated i always have to, their noses get like they're they're a breed that that yeah. take work and i think that's the thing why probably people get rid of them is because they don't realize how much work goes into them yeah. or how much money might go into them and like then, a real child like a know? real child so they're like oh i'm not ready for that exactly you know and it's like you got to be ready for it but Again, that's why we do the Only Frenchie mm-hmm. Academy. Yeah. On yep. on the nonprofit teacher, side yeah. to just give them that education. Yeah. You know, they pay a small fee that gives them a seat mm-hmm. at what we do. Um, we provide donuts and coffee. Yeah. We provide lunch. lunch. Yeah. You we know, we we're giving trips. away. We went to the uh, reproduction clinic. Uh, we we'll oh. go to other spots. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. we got relationships with a lot of yeah. people, so Bring we tell them, dogs. hey. On Tuesday, we'll be over there at yeah. 10 o'clock. You know, we're going to bring some people. They've never even been to a vet. Yeah. They never had a reason to go to a vet. Mm-hmm. Um, or if they've been to a traditional vet, they just pretty much stay in the front lobby, give them their dog, and just wait. Yeah. And then so we, partner, we actually... Like said, we partner with a lot of people, teaching them about how raw food is good. You, a lot of people, you tell them, you feed your dog raw meat? Yeah. Like, yeah, what do you think they would eat if we weren't giving them kids? They eat trash. Like, yeah. they, you know what I'm saying? I've seen dogs. So, my dog, yeah. when he was a puppy, ate poop for the... I remember my dog Come ate on poop, his own poop, and yeah. I freaked out. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, is he going to get sick? I'm Googling it. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. And then it was like, if your dog eats their own poop, it's fine. I'm like, oh, thank God. Like, yeah, I was that, so worried. You want to get in front of it, of exactly. course. Yeah. Nobody wants to even see that. Yeah. But it's just little things like that. Hey, it's okay if your dog does this. Yeah. All you need to do is do this. You know, sometimes, like, your dog will break out in allergies. Mm-hmm. Kids, Benadryl sometimes does the trick. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I had a dog that actually got stung by a bee, and I didn't really know that until, you know, I'm doing my investigation. I'm like, oh, shit. You yeah. know, but the face is just blown up. Blown up. So I'm like, what? Oh, what am I supposed to do? Man. You know, you go to the vet, that's 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. You know, 100%. so I, I called up some cheap. people that knew what's up, and they yeah. said, oh, man, run that Benadryl. You got yeah. that Benadryl on that? And then, oh, yeah, I got oh. do, 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 do. Yeah. You know, came back later, gave them a little bit more. Mm-hmm gone yeah. same day yeah you know so it's just crazy we want to keep that knowledge going we mm-hmm. want them to understand if your dog's going to dehydrate yeah. you know you can't just give them water alcohol. you know what i mean mm-hmm. bring some alcohol yeah put the alcohol all over the, the, the body because it's going to help absorb it's going to open up mm-hmm. it's you know you need to cool them down sure. faster um there's passive ways of cooling them down too but you you throw that lemon lemon juice all up in the mouth because now they're foaming you know, it's hard for them to swallow. You got to break all that up. So it's just little things yeah. like that. And lemon juice, what, two, three, four dollars maybe? Yeah. Um, uh, you know, the the, uh, the alcohol is like a buck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Keep it on you. Yeah. Because that will save your yeah. multi-thousand dollar dog's life. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just small things is what we just want to bring to the, to, the, to the forefront, like some type of awareness. Yeah. That a lot of people are just not used to hearing. Mm-hmm. You know, and like I was saying... We, t- we took them down there to the clinic, 
We wanted them to see what it looks like behind mm -hmm. there. Yeah. We want you to see what this screen is and yeah. these utensils they use to actually impregnate the dogs. Mm -hmm. And we just take it on another yeah. level, you know, just try yeah, to for get sure, them. Which you should. You know what you I mean? Know? If you're going to do it, become obsessed with it and double yes. down it. What would be some questions uh, uh, that you, if someone's, obviously, if anyone's getting a Frenchie, you got to go to my boy. But, like, say someone's not out in here and they're not going to you. What are some questions you would ask, you should ask a breeder before buying any dog from anyone? You know, um, first thing is probably going to be, uh, can I see the parents? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, bloodline means a lot, but even if you are not like crazy about the bloodlines, at least see what the parents look like. Okay. You have a record because shots? all yeah. puppies look good. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah. Every single one of them suckers are cute, mm -hmm. you know, and they'll get you. So you just say, let me see the parents, you know, and then sometimes they'll show you specific shots. Yeah. So you just be like, you got any videos? Mm -hmm. You know, not to really put them on the spot, but sure. Yeah. And then they'll send you those videos if they don't already have them on their Instagram. Yeah. And I think that alone is going to eliminate a lot of the BS, mm -hmm. you know, but um, you can also ask them things like, what do you feed them? Okay. You know, mm -hmm. um, just so you can keep that going. Because if you like their dogs, yeah. you want to do what they do. Yeah. You don't want to buy a dog from a breeder and then start asking another breeder. And yeah. because we're just open door policy, you're all in our DMs and mm -hmm. hey man, my dog's starting to do this and do the hey, you gotta go to the guy that you bought it and, from. And, yeah. and then the first time you, you know? get it, you need to make sure that you uh, go through a, a physical exam. Okay. Get the first physical exam and have something in there. And make sure that it, as long as you got a what is it like at least. Make sure the breeder that you're getting it from gives you at least two days to get the physical exam and get back to them about anything. Got it. Too. Um, and is yeah, that like standard you mostly? Yeah, they call it a health certificate, health okay. cert. You know, um, you pretty much because you're getting a contract. Yeah. You know, let, yeah. let, let's say you're coming yeah. to get a dog. These dogs cost so much. How much do your dogs cost? Um, they range, man. Yeah. They range from like 4K up to like 15, 20. Wow. You know, um, yeah. they can probably go more, but I don't really get into that. Yeah super exotic crazy there's only one dog like this yeah. in the world there's only one yeah. dog like this in the united states because they have that yeah you know where yeah. they're they're breeding crazy in korea and china and, yeah you know uh, hungry yeah the uk like all, all these spots everybody has frenchies yeah sorry you know see, Mom, my 1600 bucks for my corgi wasn't a big yeah deal. oh that's <laughs> man you're good my that's mom freaked out. she's like i can't believe you just spent 1600 bucks on a dog i'm like shut up and my yeah. dad rolled on me in a second i said dad don't tell mom <laughs> i spent 1600 bucks on a dog literally not even 24 hours yeah well you bought, bought him for 1600 bucks you could probably sell him for, i'm like dad ah, and wait. my mom's like I'm like, Dad, thanks a lot for Dang. bus driving me. He's like, <laughs> you know, he was like, listen, you don't live with her, so, you know, she has to find out that's one way or another. Funny. So that's yeah. a, so four to four grand. Tough yeah, to I mean, because a lot, like like I said, a lot comes with that. Yeah. Um, We're guaranteeing that the health is good. We've been breeding this bloodline or this dog yeah. lineage for the last four, five, you know, mm -hmm. Um, generations yeah. so we understand exactly what's going to come out mm -hmm. i bred this guy right here this this, this is like i want to say he might be my third or fourth generation you know um he owns them now but i understand what he's going to look like yeah. i can guarantee certain mm -hmm. things i can guarantee ear placement mm -hmm. you know i can guarantee the flat phase the, the the no tail um no easty westy when okay. your dog's standing like that um i can guarantee you know that there won't be any breathing problems. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just certain things because I done bred that out of my program. Yeah. You know, so if you want color, you want the lilac look with the, you know, the nice eyes and you just want the full package, it's different than if you don't really care about the lilac. Yeah. You know, let's say you just want a regular black one or a regular brindle, mm -hmm. standard colors. That's where it gets a little, you know, um, cheaper for you yeah. or inexpensive, I should say. Nothing's yeah. cheap. And that's the other thing, but, too, is like, these dogs aren't meant for everyone. They're not exactly. meant for everyone. They're uh, like, know. you know what I mean? Like, I think that's the thing that people get. Like, people hit us up sometimes to do media for us, and I'm like, I give them a price, and they're like, that's too much. I'm like, we're not meant for everyone. Yeah. We're yeah. Not, like, we're just not. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, what we, well, the hours that go into it that mm -hmm. you'll never see that we've, the supplements the we supplement, gotta use. Yeah, the, it's just people just don't. On, it's man. it all costs money. Hell yeah. You know, you want a shot on a seven thousand dollar camera, but you want to pay fifty bucks. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, it don't work that way. So for you guys, so. So how, what is the process for someone to get a dog from you? Um, this first, is, this is my plug for you that I'm going to chop up and get back yeah, to you. Yeah, <laughs> so, so the easiest way is, you know, follow us on Instagram, to okay. be honest. Um, if you are lucky enough to have our number, 
then call us up. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes you'll see our number on a flyer, mm-hmm. you know, but we just don't give it out. But yeah. if you got a business card or you've yeah. seen the flyer, you got our number. Mm-hmm. So either hit us up on that, okay, um, but the to, easiest uh, way. Um, dot org. On there, you can go leave a message right okay. now. It's under construction, but you can go there. There's a contact us uh, a page on there. Go there. Leave your information. If you're on Instagram, right? If you're on Instagram, you can go to Brock Van Bulldogs for uh, my man right here, Brockington. Mm-hmm. Or you can come to Jazzy Frenchies for me. Only Frenchies uh, underscore showcase is where you can find the the event, the Only Frenchies Academy uh, merchandise. Uh, we actually have shirts coming out. You can go find that on the website coming up soon. Only Frenchies That's mm-hmm. also under construction right now. Um, so uh, and then if and if that's too hard. Go to Eventbrite or Google only Frenchies. I'd be surprised if you don't. Find, you can even go to YouTube. If you go yeah. to YouTube. Somebody went to our uh, went to our show. Right now it has like what like forty thousand views or something like okay. that. Okay. So uh, you can go to um, YouTube and see what the show looks like. Um, I would say you should get your pre-sale tickets because um, that'll guarantee your entrance. Because once we reach capacity, we can't let anybody yeah. in. The earlier uh, earlier this year, the fire inspector came out and we had to. You know, get people out of it, there going so. out the back door. Yeah, yeah. So got on, on the event, bright. We made sure that we uh, yeah. allocated the right amount of tickets to the people for the pre-sale. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, that's that. That would be the best way to find awesome. us to get with us to get in a Frenchie, getting information about um, you know our foundation, getting yeah. information about our LLC, getting merch, or just getting in contact Perfect. with us in general. What did uh, I like wrapping it up always like this? What did some advice you would give to an un, un entre, uh, an entrepreneur that's starting or wants to get into this space? Because I think like you know. I think uh, every business is almost the same. I don't. Th- it's so funny. Like it, it, it's literally all the same. Like you. Like it could be Frenchies today. It could be Corgi yeah, tomorrow. It could same be, outline. It, it could. It could literally be after you figure out kind of how to move the pieces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What advice would you give someone? Um, to be a breeder, right? No, no, just in general. Oh, in general. So, so pretty much, um, ha- have your capital to the side, right? A lot of people get the misconception that the starter money is like the money to actually get started. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I would say to have a little bit in uh, in reserve, yeah, like more than what you think. Because it always costs more. Because it always costs more. You know, if, you, if you're fortunate enough to have good credit before you get into this, probably allocate a couple of credit cards mm-hmm. just to your business and don't be scared to spend it. Dude, you Because you have money. to hurry up and spend it. Because the longer you wait to spend it, you're prolonging the success of yeah. your business. You got. It. I don't so think people realize for how much me, money you spend right, right out the gates. Spend it all because that also mentally lets you, lets you know that you trust yourself. That and you put a little pressure on your back. You yeah. put a little pressure there, so yeah. you can't sleep in. No, you can't do certain things. Yeah. And some people put that on reserve because they're mm-hmm. like, I like to sleep in. Yeah. Or hey, I don't know if I want to spend this much. Look, yeah. it, you have to be two feet in yeah. with any business. Yeah. You can't be scared to fail because. All you're going to do is learn yeah. from that. Yep. And if you're a real entrepreneur, that's not going to stop you. No. So if you're just playing entrepreneur, you pr- probably first got to ask yourself, is this for you? Yeah. So maybe that's probably more advice. Is this really for you or did you just see someone else have success at this? Are you a real entrepreneur? Yeah. I think you got to look you at know? your track record and be really honest. Like you said, selling candy in high school. Dude, you got to you got to you, know? you got to really look into your past and be like, was I someone who quit when everything got hard or mm-hmm. was I someone who always And then you got to be Yep. Where you got to wear so many hats. So many say, hats. So many say, hats. You got to have get resources. Started, yeah. Get started you know? and get uncomfortable. 100%. Get started and get uncomfortable. Right, because yeah. a lot of people always, oh, this, this, that, oh, this. You know what I mean? He been tell I should have been started with the French. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, look at us now. Started, yeah. I mean, I started what two, three years? two, three See, years I, after I maybe, told him. Yeah. Maybe I should have. But, but I look at it like in, in hindsight, I started the events and that kind of grew. So once I got to the, it was like, so you always, whatever it is, mm-hmm. get started. Don't be yeah. scared to get. And get started. uncomfortable because it's never going to be the perfect time. Never. You're always going to talk about it. You're always going to tell your friend. Yeah. You're always going to. Your mama always going to tell you it's the right time. <laughs> you're always going to tell your mama. Your, yeah. Get started. That's the hardest thing. Taking that first. Just like a baby. Yeah. Taking that first step. Yeah. A lot of people are scared to take that first step. Oh, well, what if I don't have this? Oh, what if my finances don't work out? Mm-hmm. Oh, what if the, the money I invested? What if I don't mm-hmm. get that back? Or what? If, 
get started. Yeah. Just like it's just like I don't know how many people play baseball or softball, right? If the ball gets hit to you, everybody just waits. Yeah. Everybody waits. Run up on it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Run up on it. Get started. Yeah. That's what I tell everybody. Get started. Like, yeah. don't tell. Okay, okay, that's great. So, 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 what's your plan, plan of action? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I help, I help I'm people form mass, LLCs. I'm a, I'm a big action I guy. I do all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Take I action. Yeah. Take so action. So that's that's, that's what action. I tell people. Like, okay, yeah. I like that plan. This is good. This what's your timeline? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So get started. Stop telling me, oh, I want to start my LLC. Oh, I want to do this. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do Okay. Yeah. Get started. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's Without my biggest the money, thing. man, yeah. I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's going to work. No, you need money. You need you money. Need, whether no, always. You, whether you it's always. a credit card, like I said, you need or money. you got a sponsor, or you need some mom's money. is always. fortunate yeah. to shoot you 30K, whatever. Yeah. Your fund, it's your retirement more, it's fund, whatever it is. It's always more it's money. It's always more money. So spend that money because when you spend it, it's yeah. coming back. Yeah. But it's, if you try to trickle it in. Yeah. And I always yeesh. tell people if they're not making, you're not making revenue, work. even when they come ask me, I'm like, are you ready to pay $800 a year for your LLC? Yeah. Are you ready to pay up to $1,200 uh, a year on your, because this is a separate entity. Straight yeah. like that. Are you ready to do that? Yeah. Well, if you're not, maybe you should just get a DBA, go get a bank account, get yeah. some stuff started. Too. Payroll. Yeah. Like, payroll oh, taxes. Payroll. Oh, ta yeah. 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 Like, I, think, yeah. I think it's but a thing. Whatever level you're realize. at. Yeah. Whatever level you're at. You have to get started. Yeah, yeah. You can't just exactly. talk about it. Yeah. Right? You know what yeah. I mean? That's what you, I always You have people. to take so much action. I don't think people process. And the yeah. hard part about it is they don't Come see on, that man. work on Instagram. No. They don't see the 4 a.m. calls. They, they don't, don't see yeah, the. They don't see the late night. nights. They don't yeah. think. They don't see you sitting in. I mean, I, dude, there was a time I was sitting in bed, my phone vibrating. Yeah. It's my credit card. I'm maxed yeah. out. And, and they, you know what I mean? I just don't think people see that. It's hard. I think get uncomfortable. The, you gotta get uncomfortable. You gotta get uncomfortable. That's it's the only way you're gonna do it. It's not gonna. You're not always gonna have enough money. No. To get, sometimes you may go somewhere and you may want the double double animal style. Yeah. But you can't get it because you don't got the money. Hundred percent. So get your ass uncomfortable and get a regular double double. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I think the one thing I take from you guys, the best that I I want people to realize, cause I think it's a big loss of people make. You can't be everything, and you know what? Go find someone that can do the things you can't do. Exactly. You have I, to do, go do, go it. find the right. Not everyone's the right person. Yeah. Go find the right person that does nothing what you do. Yeah. And that's the way you grow. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you guys man. inspire me. I'm so grateful you guys came man, on. Man, thanks for having us hey, out here, man. You, man. Of course, dude. Y'all gotta, gotta come this through. This ain't. Man. We'll come through. We'll bring Adrian. We'll do the media. We'll blast you guys out. It's all about supporting the people that are around you. Man, oh, yeah, we do the same you, thing. And man. you're and you're from a town that I'm from. Yeah. And no one out here is doing this. Yeah. They always want to shoot to LA and or yeah, bro, listen, yeah. it's pretty good out here. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty and good. And there's out here, very man. cool, interesting people doing some stuff out here yeah. that people need to know about. And we That's downtown, weird. smack in the middle of downtown. Exactly. It's a lot of history with this, exactly. man. Like nineteen oh three. Come on, man. Just yeah. walking up to this, what? man. We we appreciate yeah, what that, you're doing. Really the next thing will be the warehouse. City, man. Yeah, this is a great Ooh. location. The warehouse will be. We'll do a Frenchie show in the warehouse. Don't hey, play with, hey, dude. Hey, so that's you heard yeah. it here. Yeah, you heard it here. I know it's coming. Yeah, so that's the other thing too. I want to have a big open space because I want to be able to throw events. Yeah. For my clients yes. and for my people, for free. Allow them to use the space. Yeah. Because I know I had someone who helped me get up, and everyone just needs that one person to come up. There it help is. That, he just started the only Frenchie meet and greet. Yeah, exactly. There it is. We're going to do only Frenchie meet and greet. Yeah. Free to get in. Come yeah. come on, come on. Just you know, come yeah. check us out. The event's free. Everything's free. Everything. It's just yeah. nothing but knowledge, and yeah. it's going to be a networking event, I agree. man. Okay. All right, All right boys. <laughs> Solid. On that, boys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for yeah, coming. Yeah, thanks for having us, hey, man. Hey, make sure you guys go hit him up. Until next time, peace. Peace. peace.